Yeah, yeah. Peace. What is going on, world? Welcome to Substantial Live from Home. My name is Substantial. Uh, man, we got a lot going on. So first things first, uh, different setup tonight. Shout out to Peace Gamer Ren. She is in the building. What's good, everybody? All right. Glad to be back. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, man, she's holding me down doing tech support in the background. For those who don't know, Peace Gamer Ren is my daughter. Um, yeah, man, we got a great show for you. Going to start with a beat set. After the beat set, we're going to get into a um, quick set, probably like 40 minutes. And then, yeah, man, Q&A per usual. Heads up, so... For any of you trying to participate in the Q&A, um, make sure that you drop your questions in. If you got to drop them in early, the best way to ensure that I'm going to see it is to like use Super Chat so that way it's highlighted. So that way we can kind of backtrack and it come through, um, you know, a bit later in the show and check it out. But yeah, man, um, man, so much to get into. I feel like, am I missing anything? I'm not missing anything, right? Nah, I'm not missing anything. Right. Okay, so look, we're going to get into it. For those of you first time to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Be sure to like this video, share it, all that good stuff. And um, also, man, if you want to donate, that is always appreciated. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not mandatory, but it is definitely appreciated. So if you want to support the channel, please do so. You can do so via Super Chat, Super Stickers, PayPal, Cash App, uh, Venmo. And yeah, that's it. On that note, let me stop yapping. Let's get into these beats, all right? And do me a favor, per usual, let me know in the chat how everything sounds. Working out some kinks before I hit the road, and we're going to talk about upcoming shows and all of that. Shout out to everybody in the chat, man. I see a lot of familiar faces. Peace, what's going on? We got Tommy Hackett in the building. Shout out to Penguin. Uh, shout out to Nova. That's uh, my nephew. What up? What's going on? All right. And what up, Johnny? Good to see you up in here. My man, Joshua. Good to see you. C. Crew, Shin B, CKC. Hey, it's Steph, y'all. And who else we missing? Early. Oh, Early Bird is in this joint piece. What up, Early? Yeah, man. Good to see everybody in here. All right. Let me start yapping, getting to these beats for real. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, man. For those of you who watch Substantial Weekly, you already know this joint. Let's go ahead and get it started. Let me move this mic out the way so I can get to work. album adultish all right this is actually um yeah i ain't gonna tell y'all too much about <laughs> about this joint i want y'all to hear when the album come out but yeah this is the original version of the track before some of the collaborators added on Shout 
out to the homie Soul Tiger for the donation. Appreciate you. Michael Coleman, we appreciate the love, family.
Shout out to the homie Joshua McGee. Thanks for the donation, brother. Appreciate everybody for tuning in tonight. Be sure to share the video if you haven't already. Definitely hit that like button. Join the chat if you haven't. Got to add on, you know, help that algorithm. <laughs> you know what I mean? But thank y'all, man. Appreciate y'all. Brother Frank, thank you. to my nephew well right. and shout out to Nova my other nephew aka Naye good to see you up there
Thanks for sending that question in. We'll be sure to check it out later. to my brother Malcolm Jackson. Had to take y'all back to the garden. We're going to uh, probably stay here for one more joint. Thanks for that, family. I appreciate it, man. Shout out to Marcus D and the homie Garrison on bass and guitar on this joint.
taking y'all back to Jack and Jill. Fun fact, this beat, I actually, I started making this beat on the back of a school bus, taking a bunch of my students on a retreat, like on in garage band on a Apple laptop or whatever. Instead of like beat pads or whatever, you can do, uh, you can basically like, you can use the, the keys or whatever, the letters to like, to, to control the sample or to like, you know, play different instruments and stuff. You know what I mean? So it was crazy trying to, because <laughs> this is like early days of me messing around with GarageBand. These days I'm using Logic though. Shout out to everybody who's been sending donations in. Those of you sending on YouTube and those of you who've been sending via PayPal, Venmo, Cash App. The love is appreciated. Thank you. We're going to slow it down a little bit.
had to go back to back with two tributes to my daughters. You know what I mean? Shout out to Rem Ren and Destiny. Let's see who in the chat can tell me what EP this is from. Oh, and it looks like we're three people away from hitting 40 viewers. If you haven't shared it yet, feel free to do so. Share it via Twitter, whatever social media platform you are. You're on, so you can go ahead and uh, invite a few more people to join the party. Oh, and next up, we got we got newness. We got uh, an exclusive, something that um, I think I gave some of y'all a preview a minute ago of this particular of the song, but not necessarily the instrumental. But uh, shout out to my hey, Mr. Shea. Shout out to you, brother. Good to see you up in here, man. And then who else we got? Hey, what's going on, Chad? Thank you so much. Uganda and Chad, appreciate you. The original version or part one of this song was uh, on The Past is Always Present in the Future. Uh, but the hint is this is so someone said yeah she, uh, so she sees that's the name of the uh, the book song is in my daughter's eyes uh, from the recompositions EP all right appreciate all y'all for rocking with me all this time man thank you slipping on that one but look <laughs> this joint right here this is a new joint from the upcoming album adultish and uh yeah man we're at 41 right now that's what's up appreciate y'all man thank y'all for watching thank y'all for listening thank y'all for the donations all the love is crazy but yeah this joint right here is called your man though your man though Memories feel like an infinite loop A Saturday cartoons and kung fu theater Seemingly unrelated to you Realize some of the ish we've been kicking Is animated for your edutainment Only get better and I'm a baby Rain that underground champ uh, Yeah so what do you do? What's up your dreams come true? People look up to you, they see that you grew Shit that was hard to see, clearly within your view Walking your truth, tapping the God within you Nobody harder than you when I'm walking the booth I knew what I do, farms just flow from out of the blue Turning to green, know what I mean Since the team, been doing my thing Charles, I'm back on those scenes Yeah, something new from the upcoming album I'm just playing around But yeah, man, more later Y'all stay tuned <laughs> Old ass ish EP, yes. <laughs> I enjoyed that little sample.
Y'all tell Javier Stock, stop faking on this instrumental. This joint right here. Still one of my favorite beats I made for one of the homies. Take it back to Substantial Sundays. Figure I closed the, the B set with an oldie but goodie. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. I hope y'all enjoyed the B set. Played a couple joints. Uh, I did have... I did, man. There is one unreleased joint I didn't play. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna give y'all one more joint because there was one uh, unreleased joint I didn't play for y'all. And uh, yeah... I ran over time a little bit, but I got you. Hold tight. quick before I play this joint I was gonna let it ride and then I just realized I ain't tell you what it was so look this joint right here is a unreleased bonus track from Animal Arithmetic uh, produced by yours truly so uh, hopefully when the the full comic is done this will be released uh, the pardon me the manga 
I be slipping sometimes. Yes, uh, my daughter checking me in the background. But yeah, when the manga drops, this track will be available along with some of the other additional items. So stay tuned for this. It's currently untitled, but coming soon. All right, let's get it. And coming up, we're going to go ahead and get into the uh, the songs in a few. We're going to take a brief intermission. And yeah. the contribution via cash app once again appreciate all of y'all making donations man never mandatory but always appreciated thanks to everyone who's contrib uh, contributing to the live event tonight hopefully we can keep these going uh, my hope is to do one more before i go on tour in may so we'll see you know what i mean like maybe i'll have a couple guests on that one here in the studio um and someone else to do the beat set to get started all right. Fun fact too, uh, this instrumental almost made it to adultish. This was uh, I almost ended up turning this into a song for the album. But yeah, but that concludes the beat set for the night. You know what I mean? Uh, Y'all hang tight for a minute. We're gonna take a quick intermission. Uh, maybe throw on a video or two for you while we just switch up in here real quick. Uh, shout out to um, my my tech support, my technical advisor, and uh, my my one and only oldest daughter, Serenity, aka Peace Gamer, ran holding it down, uh, managing the chat, managing. Uh, you see graphics happening in the background. You know we some some anime nerds over here, so we got Studio Ghibli in rotation. Uh, but yeah, man, so y'all hang tight. We're going to be back with uh, with some songs, probably go through like maybe 12 to 14 joints. Going to probably spit one unreleased joint for y'all. Do a couple things from Adultish, some classics, some, some classic Nuja Best joints. Maybe uh, one or two joints from my homie uh, Marcus D. And then after that, we got the live Q&A coming up. Remember, you can send in your Q&A questions in advance via the, um, the uh, super um, chat. Uh, or you could just support via super stickers, PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, all that good stuff. Thank y'all so much. Keep tuning in. We're going to keep on rocking for y'all. All right. Hold tight.
Okay, we're going to try this one more time. Check one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Let me know if y'all can hear me. Fingers crossed. Yes. Woo, oh, my back. God. Son. We're back. <laughs> Hallelujah. At this point of the time, it's usually a situation where, you know, the artist is going back and forth with the sound man like, yo, son. You know what I mean? But, yeah, it's us. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah, man, we're going to get into it. We ain't waste no time. Get to these, uh, these joints. Hit it. We back to it. Uh-huh. Me see them claps in the uh the chat. Clap for me. They say, Mr. Fantastic, could you rap for me? Uh-huh. DJ, bring it back for me. Let me stretch and get loose for I black on it. Uh-huh. Triple R to y'all rap, read Richie, stretch money instead of truth, but I mean business. No, the fill of ravine, y'all should bring pictures. At the beat, got that swing, you gon' need pictures. On the mound, throwing it down, stand delivers. All pro, I ain't a goddamn beginner. Picks after the show, now let a man eat dinner. Too focused on A to C, but plan B get us. Nappy fade with some gray on the sides. Omni man stand when that paper pin up the line. Side said you was the truth, and now your status to die. Slide forever die, waiting for the pain to subside. Oh. Classic over trendy, bro, I'm still here Holler at me in a decade if they still care If you fall and bounce back, if they still cheer Then they're worthy to wield the mic like it's mill now I'm still in here, still prepared to take what I earn Got some build the bears, they built the better way to the world Been the realest here, that's on my soul, mate and my girls Who you think compared to me, really ain't my concern Is he dope in the debate, cause most would say he underrated A couple states that say that he a just the greatest Some artists focus less on albums, that's on making playlists I choose the former, but I hope the latter choose my latest Now nah, clap for me. They say, Mr. Fantastic, could you rap for me? Uh-huh. DJ, bring it back for me. Let me stretch and get loose for I black on it. Uh-huh. Turn me up for the poppers, lockers, God bodies, rosters, hip hoppers, not for the imposters. Nah, bruh. Prep another spitter when you stop one. Learn from a showstopper. Mr. Stantastic, part of your four, dope or audio form, what's the god to record? Put your beast like Benny on the stage with the boys, you come to have a good show? Bro, I came to destroy your pit, giving out work like I came to employ. Jaws to rock on the mic when I get in the joints, toss to in the stew when I conjure up joints. Come fetch this blessing that I came to anoint, but we'll be rock. Sit down with old vices and high blood pressure be coming with low prices. For the virus, we've been dealing with known crisis. Transformed from old dog to old Cyrus. Now we came to flame these joints like arthritis. While God guide us, peacemakers and born fighters. Got homies with more seeds than papyrus. Trying to find peace while writing on papyrus. Denied them equal rights and living wages. Couldn't see the gospel we got to hitting stages. Best cup secrets like Bibles were hitting pages. Best source of raw hip hop and entertainment. My life's a hip hop. Hot, quotable, they ain't published yet. Slept on a lot of masses till I left a few with rubbers next. Took a swing at rapping and I left it to the upper deck. Only other language that I'm fluent in is cut the checks so or clap for me. They say, Mr. Fantastic, could you rap for me? Uh huh. DJ, bring it back for me. Yeah. Black on it. Uh huh. Turn me up for the poppers, lockers, God bodies, rosters, hip hoppers. Not for the imposters. Nah, bruh. Recognize a spitter when you spot one. Learn from a showstopper. Turn me up, son. Hey. I hope y'all feeling good. One thing about these live from homes, fam. All the hats. We wearing all the hats. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's a great exercise before we hit the road. Let's keep it going. Shout out to everyone in the chat, man. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Shout out to my brother Marcus D. Shout out to Pismo. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. I need to see y'all two stepping in the chat. I don't know how y'all gonna work that out, but you need to work that out. Two stepping in the chat. Let's see. AJ, what up? Good to see you, fam. Going out cause I just got paid Better watch every little step I take Pull my sway, let's hear it for the boy Don't disturb this groove, let the people enjoy it. All night long, then it's back to life Give it to me, baby, if that's alright I like it 
Let your love come down so high. Better cool it now. Don't stop. Never too much. Never too much. Sweetest time. Boo, uh, never knew love like this before. Baby girl, let's cruise. Vibe on a milli when I think of you. To the Billy Ox, set it to the beat. Fly home in the whip, rocking 80s RB. Caribbean queen of the party. The one I want when I wanna dance with somebody. So what's up? So what's up? So what's up? Once again, man, we appreciate all the love. Shout out to everyone that's sending the super chats through. Shout out to everybody tuning in right now. We know the world opened back up, but I appreciate y'all for taking time to rock with us. Uh-huh. I see y'all. Uh-huh. So. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to my brother Pismo. Shout out to Marcus D. And welcome back to everybody who dipped out. Pick up a beverage. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ran this store real quick. Wherever you went, while we worked out our technical difficulties, we appreciate you for coming back and rock with us. Don't stop, don't quit, uh, don't stop, don't quit, don't stop, y'all say it, don't quit, uh-huh, 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 don't stop, y'all, y'all say it, don't quit, don't quit, eh, yeah, uh-huh, don't stop, don't stop, don't quit, don't quit, don't stop, don't quit, don't quit, don't stop, y'all say it, don't quit, uh, don't stop, and you know we don't quit, uh-huh, don't stop, don't quit. Good job on the two-stepping, everybody. Good job on the two-stepping, all right? Uh-huh. Go to work. Let's get it. Shout out to my brother, Odyssey. Go to work. Uh, let's get it. Everybody go to work. Go to work. Let's get it. Everybody go to work. Uh, let's get it. Everybody go to work. Uh-huh. Let's get it. Yeah. Name substantial, address none ya. Be more resident, but people know I'm from the county where the prince is a G. It's no wonder that even in the dead of winter, the block is lava summer where dudes got that work. But I'm job most elective past the line that the second you will find my objective. I'm seeking a position that'll further my development while fattening my pockets, cause I don't rhyme for the hell of it. Need my work experience and past employers. Down with Cuban fine for a human being owner. I used to be but well, hot out in the late great Lose your best wherever I go My motto be great Do your best responsible For making sure that we stay Super fresh locally and globally Why they help me get these groceries I keep the fans feeding And keep the fans eating Dinner with the potency Give a professional dope of C You can't speak for these other guys But you can check my resume Man, I'm qualified yeah. Why would I lie, bruh? Nobody as fresh as this hip For how you check my references can't speak for these other guys, but you can check my resume, man. I'm qualified. Yup, you can put them high up. Uh huh. Shout out to DJ High. I should be your first pick long before the second interview. Third LP, four out of five minimum. Even with short pockets, stood taller than the Sentinel. Drive uncanny, not your average individual. Think I graduated from the Xavier Institute, but school of hard knocks, where I took my classes, where I got my master, a ceremony tactics. My poor righteous teachers taught me to make only classics. You may know me as this educator and a vocalist. Who the hell you knows a team player and a soloist can dress to impress, but I'm fly when I'm playing too thorough. If I quit, you would hire me again. So hire them if they lame. Come for what's mine. Work around the clock. I could keep up with the time since elementary. I flip the dub from a dime while they get the pink slip. I get the dub, but you nah. Listen, can't speak for these other guys, but you can check my resume, man. I'm qualified. Yup, live, bruh. Nobody gets fresh. It's this hit, man, for high. Get check my references. Can't speak for these other guys. You can check my resume, man. I'm certified. Yup, you can put them high up. Hey. Uh huh. Yeah. Go to work, go to work. Let's get it. Let's get it. Go to work, go to work. Let's get it. Everybody, go to work, go to work. Let's get it. Go to work, go to work. Let's get it. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all feeling good? Let me know. I remember doing shows with no per diem. Shit on by promoters, but the fans hope to see them. Some hope to be them. No ish. Shows in museums. No cap, no damn. But 
The message is the breath. Everything you put in ain't exactly what you get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One more thing, don't forget. Uh huh. Never outweighs integrity, go respect. They told me everything that I couldn't do. Told me everything that I should have done. Show me everything that I shouldn't choose. But show me everything that I could have won. Told me everything that I should be. And it's everything that they ain't on God. From what I can't see, you ain't qualified to tell me what I can, I can't do. If you never tried, never failed, can you truly recognize if I ever will? Fall, then rise, tell them better still get by till we make more paper than hammer mill. Uh, turn us up into a zealot, cause I died my report, for I live to regret it. Whether lost in the force, off course in the desert, I'ma forge what we got into a little slice of heaven. I remember doing shows with no predium. Shit on my promoters, but the fans hope to see them. Some hope to be them. Went from dive bars and clubs to shows and museums. No cap, no dance, but. The message is the breath. Everything you put in ain't exactly what you get, right? One more thing, don't forget. A check never outweighs integrity or respect. Yeah, uh, I'ma put more where it really counts. Never sell my soul for any amount. I never stress what people consider less. Got everything I need, that's what it means to be blessed. I was undervalued by the overrated They gave me wrong directions, now they gon' surprise I made it Created my own lane and found the strength to pave it And where I'm supposed to be is now where I'm situated They told me everything that I couldn't do Show me everything that I should've done Told me everything that I shouldn't choose But show me everything that I could've won Show me everything that I should be But it's everything that they ain't on God from what I can see You ain't qualified to tell me what I can or can't do You ain't qualified to tell me what I can or can't do Who? You? Nah Shout out to my brother Mega Brand. We actually filmed a video for this joint too So this is one of the three videos we've shot for adultish so far Hold on one second Okay, I'm feeling good Let's see. No surprise, I'm the one they sleep on. I roll with dreamers, but with us two come through, we make them believe this. Fiend through your receivers. When it's all three of us, for the love of music, high five for Jesus. In the motel, six, wake up, call at seven. Breakfast we ate, later had these plaguers in heaven. By nine, ten, I'm in the cab at the airport. Boughtons at eleven, I'm not stressing, so therefore, time to finish up this rhyme I'm twelve bars into. Hold up, thirteen, now get yeah, this ish who came up since fourteen with a hissing ass. Demo, 15 minutes strong, though the songs were hella simple. Finished at 16, then I crashed like a cymbal. Sand at 17, a kennel room body, the instrumental night before. Pack house, it was 18 and over. Still with a kill if only 19 showed up. We focus in 2021. I might have more for you, but still be underrated. They say that's a cash 22. Wanna be rated, degraded like 20 to 23. There's a life as you thought it was something you may never see. 25 minutes before I bore for my trip. Hit my driver with a 26 uh, Tip. Thinking that I was 27 when I heard market shit 28 when we began to plan the very start of it Dark skin chick tap me saying I don't know what's on your mind You're holding up this line By the way my gate is 20 line Pretty little 30 something sister on the motherland Thank the for the info Pass the checkpoint with my stuff in hand Cop gum snacks in a book for something to do Cashier said my total's 20 32 Still on the 33% Our battery is lame Charging that home my family before I boarded the plane 30 years young Making music with my friend Complimented through a 35 millimeter lens Day and a half before, yo, that's when we hit the road By 37 copies of our album in tow One show, they all go, cause they're a hot commodity Imports plus shipping be like 38 a copy Be finally boarded by a guy who's 39 or 40 By the time I hit the sky, close my eyes, start zoning Zoning, 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 zoning Ladies and gentlemen, on the keys That is none other than White chocolate or as we also know him as Marcus D. Wait for it, hold on. And that's none other than Steph. Together we go by Bob Just another day in this life of Shout out to my brother Marcus. We were talking earlier today. Working on the album. We're going to start working on the new album later this year. Pop on the two. 
Nod on the three, this is for you. Clap on the one, clap on the two. Nod on the three, this is for you. This is for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's see what's next. Oh, we staying with Bob Alloy for another joint. I know y'all can't tell, or maybe you can, depending on what my forehead looked like in that camera, but bruh, it's, it's a little slice of Africa in this joint. Definitely hot in here. Let's get it. Yeah. Chill out yourself, girl. Blah, blah, blah. Wind down, lose your top like Mardi Gras. <laughs> Cha 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 on my grown man Steve since my papa died in 89. Your boy sub moving than Jip. Get mine anything otherwise stupid this ish. By design up just as cool as it get. Proof in the spit. Wifey looking sweeter than the cooler she sip. A little sax on the beach just happens to be exactly what you need. When I rap you a beat, you hang to every syllable. Word, phrase, a sentence so cold. I should change my name to cryogenics. My intention is to be your new provider of chill. Slay you with the rhyme while you admire the scale Don't matter if I got me a fistful of dollars I'm MD like Marcus Initials who hotter than sub Just a little chillaxation Just a little chillaxation Baby don't be shy Yeah, it's just a little chillaxation Put a finger in the sky It's just a little chillax Raise your coat 45 Aha let your conscience at ease You're now rocking with the sounds With S and M D, D and the beat Refreshingly free of any additives All natural flavors what we packaging Strictly the best bow down to none Organic raw talent come get you some Cause I got plenty juice Y'all dying in the thirst Mimicking the movement straight Trying to rehearse Cock diesel had chickens gas since 87 Con wish I would quit They have to wait in heaven Cause old the new school Don't matter up never failing Now they woman winking at me Like Sarah Palin She wasn't really ready for the job My dude on mics I go dumb Like I'm smart as you Genius could hardly walk with y'all on the penis Kick plenty ass gotta wash off my sneakers you know just a little chillaxation yo it's just a little chillaxation baby don't be just a little chillaxation just a little chillax put the finger in the sky just a little chillaxation just a little raise your coat 45 and then we do two stepping on Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Shout out to my brother White Chocolate, aka Chef Boy MD, aka Marcus D. My brother from another mother right there. Let's take it back with another old joint. Yes. Shout out to my sister from another Mr. Steph. Let's go. MCs kick rhymes and beats on a cappella uh. Grandfather's singing year round through all weather Our coaches evolve and when next will it bring Hip hop is one of my favorite things DJs be boys and be girls are so clever They call it a fan but we're hip hop forever And we love our culture to get we shall clean Yeah, yeah, yeah Hip-hop culture, a way of life that's preyed on by vultures To fatten up they pockets, some really thought they stop it Then called it a fad, all to the bad, we get this in our way of life Sun is a trip, but in your lip, keep what I say tonight Started in the soft rocks, but the brother here's from Merlin Homo Momo Saucy, MCs who be shining like Sterling That's a whole nother song, moving along back to the subject H.I.P. to the H.O.P., man, I love it It consists of four elements, some say five or more Didn't know that till now, hell you rhyming for this Breaking and rapping, DJing and grab. I add on beatboxing because I practice that craft. Like, 
is crucial. Spitting rhymes in the cipher with a beat that's quite useful. Then there's what's breaking, so you can stop that quite early. Cause I didn't like the idea that dance moves could hurt me. But still fine popping and locking to be mad nice. Now all my energy gets used only to grab mics and rock. Rock on to the dawn up early morning. I still do graffiti, just took my mom's warning. And kept it on the paper to avoid central booking. Cause to hell with jail, I was more scared of butt whoopings. Now I'm a grown man with hip hop still wake up in me. Love it for life, even if I never see one penny. MCs get rhymes to beat, so a cappella. Graph artists tagging, get ran through all weather. Our culture's evolving, what next will it bring? Hip hop is one of my favorite things. That's right, Steph. Uh huh. Uh huh. As long as the earth is. If I had a lighter right now. I have never done this song live. We're gonna see how it goes. I might refer to notes. I don't know, just in case. You know what I mean? So proud, look how much you have grown. So proud, look how much you have grown. So proud, look how much you have grown. So proud, keep going. Time slipping through our hands like an hourglass as it trickles sand. Struggling to meet all I like the man's. Ain't no guarantee, still make time to plan. So I was through a little stand, but it, yeah, God gave me three of you. Travel way beyond where it all began. Never let the distance get between us two. Grew from a black sheep to a black queen. Black excellence looking good on you. From black dress to direct thing, doing things you would swear you never do. You lay that message like a track team. You reflect who you're attracting, but you rise up like Maxine. Strange, I think I'll struggle, make a better you. I salute you. You put in work and never put your work on how another person views you. You put your heart in every worker out and put your family part of what you do. A queen born in Queens like a queen, but in real life, y'all who knew? Let her shot my shot like through through. Let me clean it up like blue too. Shout out to my brother Millen. I'm gonna get the cheese sheet real quick. This is for my big sis. And I don't wanna mess up her verse. Which means I'm probably gonna mess up her verse. Look how much you have grown. So proud. Look how much you have grown. So proud. Look how much you have grown. So proud. Keep going. Listen. Hey Lee, wish I had a time machine to show you younger you what you're accomplishing daily. In spite of all the cause of lost a second grandchild, second baby. You prove to be the queen of second chances in advance, and no matter what they see, no buts or no infants, or maybe surviving from things that will break me. We're from GD to burning through your third degree. A lot of what I mastered in my own relationship, I learned from watching you and D. We're from drop top to a drop top to a drop the time full of read. We're from no lights that lighten up the path for you and yours quite beautifully. This for you for me. Some words of affirmation from your baby brother. Thanks for all the inspiration and support when I was fronted on behalf of others. Many of us don't make it this far as we have, and I cherish the joy that's among us. Keep urging yet reckoning is well earned. Make a look at that far that you brung us. You know I love ya. Try to keep it together. Uh huh, uh. Shout out to my brother Miller once again. Shout out to Tone on the mix. On the same. Shout out to Jonathan Smalls on bass. Yeah. 
So proud, look how much you have grown. So proud, look how much you have grown. So proud, look how much you have grown. So proud, keep going. So proud, keep growing. Yeah, had to pause it for a minute. Hey, man, thank y'all so far. We ain't done yet. I just wanted to take a quick moment to shout out my amazing wife, uh, my life partner, my business partner. Yeah, man, she's uh, she's a real one. And uh, for inspiring that song, you know what I mean? And giving me these beautiful babies that, uh, one of which is helping me run the show right now. Love you, kid. Um, and yeah, man, and then again, man, shout out to my big sister, uh, one, of, one of my many big sisters. Shout out to my sister, Lisa. Um, yeah, man, just, it, it was, this was not an easy song to write because it's like, how do you, how do you encompass so much that a person has experienced? And I don't even think that, I don't, I'm not even sure if the verse is 16 bars or not. I think it might be 12 now that I think about it. Um, but yeah, man, just like as much as I shared of her story in that song, it doesn't really touch on everything. You know what I mean? So yeah, man, but shout out to everybody watching. Once again, shout out to anyone who's donated. If you haven't contributed yet, if you have the ability to contribute, it is greatly appreciated. But once again, it is never mandatory, but always appreciated. Um, but yeah, that song you just heard, you've grown from the upcoming album, uh, Adultish. Adultish. Yeah. yeah. Those hats will be available as well. Info coming up on the album and merch next week. You know what I mean? So let's uh, get into another joint. Let's uh, let's go stop in London real quick and see my man Funky D out. All right. Yeah. Say less. Who am I to talk? Actually, I'm paid to do just that. Hit them with just facts. Truth, ugly as must rats. Been in the lab, just cooking up tracks. Tight lip over a nice bit. This ain't a comeback, it's unk back. I'm Jai Tony with beats and flows instead of knees and bows. But there's no need to boast. Don't need my ego stroke. My track records, my interpreter. Good with supporters, y'all be thirsting for the worshippers. Namaste, I'ma play my role like my Herschel. No impact without an act. Get to working, bruh. Turn it up the moment I said, less my stream is by enough but i can't exit till my team is right because everyone's a boss they ain't playing nobody everyone's a gangster but they ain't no god everybody say they know the code but they straight snitching everybody know a lot but they actually say different listen every post don't need a comment uh-huh every pick don't need a like uh-huh everyone don't need an audience and every open mouth don't need a mic say less ain't what you know is what you do let the work you put in be the proof say less you ain't gotta tell me that's real in time everything will be revealed say less yeah listen i ain't gotta tell you you follow my drip but it's the race to the top many opt for a lift want to tell you about the drive until you offer a tip and turn around and act like you ain't come along for the trip but you were there for they were talking they shit and show boat and just floating with no wind and they sail no motion illusion is pen and teller i can pin it better broke as fuck got the ball damn you slipping cinderella just the image seller stop photo they got not thorough claim to be the realest ever who gon' vouch for you not a soul, your own people hardly believe you We see more than you saying, they saying more than you need to Cause everyone's a boss but they ain't paying nobody Everyone's a gangster but they ain't no gotti Everybody say they know the code but they straight snitching Everybody know a lot but they actually say different Listen, every post don't need a comment Uh-uh, every pick don't need a like Uh-uh, everyone don't need an audience And every open mouth don't need a mic Say less, ain't what you know is what you do let the work you put in be the proof Say less You ain't gotta tell me that you're real In time everything will be revealed Say less Yeah just trying to give them some game No matter if I yell it, they never hear what I'm saying Then a stranger roll up and they damn I'm telling the same And I totally forget that I put that shit in their brain Do they too close to the picture, they can't even see the frame How I brought it together, so I bother to explain Put my plan into action, now my passion turned to gains And now they circling back so I can help them do the same Say no more Say less I got you Got you, bro It's all love Say less, ain't what you know is what you do Let the work you put in be the proof Say less, 
You ain't gotta tell me that you're real In time, everything will be revealed Say less Let's go to Maryland Made in Maryland Don't get it twisted, dog. I still put the M between the DV. I'ma represent for y'all regardless where the path will more lead me. Possible's from Baltimore, but it's only some was born in PG. The home of Tubman and Douglas. Name a better rapper from MD to dust this spare time. Merk him low key with a spare rhyme. Old lines, ish, I came up with it. Oh, nine. No line back in Suitland in the 90s. And someone else is rapping by because you find me whipping ass, taking names for this rap ish. was cool. I was either chasing dreams or chasing ass after school. Ditch class, wings of mumbo sauce. During high times, cooking beats of Ace Old Crib. Playing 9 5 live from the home of Martin and Sugar Ray. I'm a shine for every Known that took a straight in Merlin. Get it twisted, dog. I still put the in between the DB. Shout out to Joe D. Shout out to Hob. Shout out to Steph. Shout out to Art. Uh huh. Pops was from Baltimore, and his only son was made in Maryland. PG specifically, county might be rich, but we all struggle mentally. Trying to see through imagery, placed here to limit me, killing me. Black and brown, young is on the killing speed. Wake a dodge, bullets you would thought I had. Trinity and Zion's best fighters all guard on my divinity. Had a rack of brothers, only one that was kin to me. Saved my life when they gave the mic and the pen to me. But I'm from the same damn state as Eddie Gray. Right, but it's, that might be one ride away. From the home of Frank Miller and Dark Knight, thought it was, nah, you thought right, I'm from Maryland. Still put the in between the DV, uh-huh. I'ma represent for y'all regardless where the path will more lead me, uh-huh. Pops was from Baltimore, but it's only some was born in BT. Only Prince I claim, sang Purple Rain. Prince George was slain. Fuck him in his name. I'm a PG king. This a PG thing. This for Godzilla, OGC, King Joe D. Steph, Hob and my Baltimore team. That's my man J. So and the young homie Green. Damn, my friends are dope. Yeah, we really rap. Fans been losing hope, I'ma bring it back. Cause Stan has been dope since pit pack Kickball, jump rope, and hot and go get it black. They think I holly off for weeks just to get a track. To hand the God some weak shit, picture that. Phelps with a felt tip, Bolivian flow. Provide more dope lines than Bolivian cope. The rant on the bus line. Camilla when the key of strife. Rick and the roof walking in the dreams and I'm woke in the land. The third good is mama taught my papa. Now I'm out here in your hood somewhere in Maryland. We out here. We out here. Even though we in Northern VA right now. But you know where I'm from. Man. I hear you, Steph. Steph be making sound. Making everything sound better. Hurry, team. Hurry, team. I think since we talking about the DMV, since we talking about MD in particular, let's talk about a station called 1580. I remember way back in the days. Before this all happened Let's take a trip way back in the day Never aimed to be a caricature Only working on my character, bruh People say they want the real And I'm here still, but where is the love? Put on for PG before I heard somebody rep where I'm from Worldwide, I get it done before I overdo it Uh, share my soul, but I don't want to lose it Uh, uh wasn't put here for your amusement You gon' respect the man more than you respect the music From where your safety is determined by your address Don't want to be and get some assets Though we struggle where we run through the madness Always knew we had more to offer although we had less Through it all, it was always me and yeah, my mother My sisters for they moved out and occasionally my brother The homie and the radio that stayed on 1580 TV on the box locks Hoping one day that they play me Now stop son Back when me rapping wasn't as lucrative and hot ones Wasn't the show that they interview you in Hostile, no poetic justice, only punitive Cops was fucking with us daily We weren't doing shit regardless to godless Treat you like a felon though Trying to sling my demo so I kind of was selling dope What's more addictive than the music? Acceptance So we try to turn our curses 
blessings and the blessings. It's funny, our souls are fed by starving artists. No matter the road ahead, we make progress if you know, you know, you know. A little flavor for your soul, your soul, your soul. I write like it won't be read. To be honest, when I'm up to my head, my head. Nothing's promised if you know, you know, you know. A little flavor for your soul, your soul, your soul. Keep on flavor. Shout out to my man DJ RBI. And my man T. Lucas. Radio 1580. This joint just dropped, by the way. Shout out to everyone keeping it in rotation, man. Appreciate y'all. Before this all happened. Keep on, keep on. Let's keep going then. It's only right. Because if you was listening, you heard the sample in 1580 from Blessing It. One, two, three, say Blessing It. One, two, three, come on, Blessing It. One, two, three, come on, Blessing It. Everybody in the chat, you say Blessing It. Each one, teach one, preach on. Maryland and Cincinnati to the Far East, son. We just begun to spread the gospel. Substantial pace, rock and pop apostles. Far from preaching, but this art you call rapping. Taking y'all back before it all happened. Front and hardcore, yo, they barely soft porn. Never penetrating the inner to get your heart warm. Rock on, it a ridiculous place disrespect hip hop and i'll spit in your face these kids are a waste of oxygen madness get in your case and all your shit like bag checks got my eye on you like insanity grabs in your cd packaging and i can't stand rappers you better get ripped and turned in the garbage just stay blessing mics my followers pay homage sub stand blessing it yes i am blessing it you v for life hell yes we stay blessing it one two three yes say blessing it one two three yes say blessing it sub stand blessing it yes i am blessing it you v for life hell Hell yes, we stay blessing it. One, two, three, blessing it. One, two, three in the chat. Just say blessing it. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Like, uh huh. Uh huh. Calm down. Everybody get cool. Get cool. You keep the brim low. You know what I mean? Keep the brim low. You know what I mean? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm hmm. I feel like I need to make it dark in here, but I ain't gonna do that. Hold on. Yeah, fade the black soundtrack to another night. It's the music of the rain in the city lights. Feel no pain, it makes the whole city bright. Without the spark of the hype, it's just another night. Fade the black soundtrack to another night. It's the music of the rain in the city lights. Feel no pain, it makes the whole city bright. Listen. Some play for keys while you lay to sleep. In the dark, your worst nightmare waste for heat. And it ain't the sun, though dawn is near. Air crisp and calm, I feel a storm is near. And I'm watching lightning. And dance across the skyline Usually miss it Rarely find time to bask in blackness Hint the line shine while in the jazz pub Chilling, sipping on fine wine Hypnotized by the strum of the upright I feel like lost souls got their eyes on me some night So I keep my eyes wide And move cautious Step and find yourself in a brand new coffin by morning Now you're one with the night breeze You should have known better if you anything like we But these city lights will seduce you They walkers beware if it's not what you used to Fade the black soundtrack to another Another night, shout out the pace and the city lights. Feel no pain, it makes the whole city bright. Without the spark of the hype, it's just another night. Fade the black soundtrack to another night. It's the music of the rain and the city lights. Feel no pain, it makes the whole city bright. Without the spark of the hype, come on, R.I.P. New your best, come on, R.I.P. New your best, yes, R.I.P. New your best, God bless, new your best. Uh. I repeat, new your best. 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 Hey man, thank y'all so much. I hope y'all are having a good time. Shout out to everybody who hung in there and didn't abandon us when the uh, when the technical difficulties happened. Basically, for those who didn't uh, know what happened behind the scenes, um, like as we were switching things around, bumped into a wire, 
and yeah, it disconnected the whole thing. And that was pretty lame. <laughs> so, but we are here now, man. So I appreciate all y'all for sticking around. So look, this next joint I'm gonna do is the last joint I'm gonna perform for the night. The song is called Salt and Pepper. You know what I mean? Spelled just like the the legendary rap group Salt and Pepper. Uh, so shout out to those queens. Shout out to my childhood crush, uh, Spinderella. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes, your mom, your mama know. Yes. My daughter in the background, like, spilling tea. I'm like, your mama know. Your mama know. You know what I mean? But anyway, she, she her mama, the main, she, she always the one and only. But you know what I'm saying? But when I was a kid, Spinderella was, whoo, whoo, a book. So anyway, this song right here is called Salt and Pepper. I'm getting notes out just in case because it is a new joint that I have never performed live. And I want y'all to hear this joint. And uh, man, it's a celebration, right? It's a, it's a it's a fun joint. There's some Baltimore club influence in this joint. Real upbeat. And it's a celebration of uh getting to this point in my life, man. And uh, but you you're gonna see it ain't it ain't what you think though. You know what I mean? So let's uh let's do it. Here we go. So again, salt and pepper produced by me, featuring Marcus D on the keys and Black Root, who dropped uh some vocals for the hook and the intro on the song when that comes out, which comes out April 21st, if I'm not mistaken. All right, here we go. So I need y'all. Look at all that wisdom. Look at all that wisdom. Look at all that wisdom. Salt and pepper bed. Salt, salt, salt. Living legend ain't gotta die. Greg and flexing ain't gotta die. Truth is free, I ain't gotta lie. Come get this wisdom, I gotta lie. Salt and pepper, oh boy, you're seasoned. Trust for nothing, don't need a reason. She's seasoned too, my old bae. Cool and sweet, she's sorbet. All way, all days. Been in good hands, all stay. Should have been new to forte. Oh boy, can't come to play games with it. From the era they used to slap plagiarists. Too great to fit, too authentic to fake. Trailblazing made my whole name with it. It's seafood sub, the most dangerous. Y'all seafood subs with a drink and chips. I'm a four course meal jet with golden seals with no tour or deal. I make bank with it, come bang with it. Y'all show y'all ass, but ain't saying shit. I'm way different. Got room to grow, I'm still learning. My food, I'm still earning. It's all love and I'm swerving. Two decades of drive without swerving. Enjoy your moment. I'm built to last, my folks are spoken. Old man Logan, sub the Roman. No mass except the ones I'm owning. No man flow in, let me learn ya. Focus, you're too concerned with the salt and pepper bed. Salt and, salt and, salt and pepper bed. Salt, 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 salt and pepper bed. Salt and, salt and, salt and pepper bed. Salt, salt, salt. Oh, look at all that wisdom. Look at all that wisdom. Look at all that wisdom. Oh, you like that? Come get some. Look at all that wisdom. Look at all that wisdom. Look at all that wisdom. She sheet real quick. Remember, this is a new joint. Never performed it. No fear, did it my way. Flip my bed like Pod May. Went for no one knowing my name. The sold out shows in Taipei. From up and coming, the classic status. AI for Cyphers, the apparatus. Ain't ready, game steady, y'all talking practice. Carry that weight like Spike and Atlas. Came up with assassins on mics. Hats off the vice, I can't count the night. Let me get down. Better take notes, forever get better. I'm dope. Y'all do the most while I get paid in my sleep. Ironically, I'm still woke. Whoa, I learn from the young and the old. A mass every match in the flows. Building these riches while sharing my vision. If you wasn't hip, now you know. Ban all the fiction, I handle my business. Your man's only mission is growth. Salt and pepper bed. Salt and, salt and, salt and pepper bed. Salt, 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 salt and pepper bed. Salt and, salt and, salt and pepper bed. Salt, salt, salt. Look at all that wisdom. Look at all that wisdom. Hey, hey. Shout out to Marcus D on the key. Salt and pepper bed. Salt and pepper bed. Salt and pepper bed. Salt and salt and salt and pepper bed. Look at all that wisdom. Look at all that wisdom. Look at all that wisdom. All that wisdom. Look at all that wisdom. Look at all that wisdom. Salt and pepper bed. Yeah. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, man. I hope y'all had fun. Don't dip yet. We're going to be here for a little bit longer. We're a little bit um, over schedule right now because of uh, the technical difficulties. But hang around. Give us like three to four minutes. We're going to shift things around gently. <laughs> gently. <laughs> gently. And we will be right back. So y'all hang tough. Remember, man, um, if you got questions for the Q&A, if you want us to get to your questions first, definitely um, the Super Chat will help it make help make it a bit more visible. Um, yeah, you know, any support that you could throw out there is greatly appreciated. Full disclosure, all the support that comes through for the channel actually gets split between me and my awesome daughter because my daughter is a YouTuber. So if you go into the chat, I mean, pardon me, in the description of this video, you can actually see uh, a link to go check out her channel. She does a lot of gaming content and she's a really dope visual artist as well, even though only her uh, her old art is up on her page. But yeah, man. So just so you know, this is uh, supporting not just this channel, but also supporting uh, my support. You know what I mean? So thank you all for watching. Don't dip yet. Q&A in about three to four minutes. Hang tough. All right. Yeah. Hi, I'm Rochelle Etienne Robinson. I'm an artist, designer, arts administrator, event planner, wife, and mother. Black of all trades, I do it. I am Victorious Jihad, husband, father, educator, speaker, author, and trainer. Black of all trades, I do it. My name is Jay Gotti Amos. I am an author, poet, rapper, on-road student. Black of all trades, I do it. Hey, I'm Julian Lytle, artist, cartoonist, podcaster, maker, black of all trades, I do it. Peace. My name's Kenneth Williams. I'm a teacher, father, stepdad, educator, believer, black of all trades, I do it. I can paint a picture with words and just brushes Make something out of nothing, ain't nothing to make something Cutting up samples while keeping the bass pumping Nothing we can handle while we had this place jumping You tramp or lean, I'd rather have a queen Of course I am a king, so I can have a dream Or be your worst nightmare, war never fight fair If I'm free to write there, take up by any means Learn peace from the cause, but still study balance Fight for my serenity, if anything challenge Right rope on a tight rope, trying to find balance Build my skill with will plus talent Slinger of rough rhymes, training young minds, painter of the times, maker of the signs, sailor of the skies, pilot of the seas, maker of the pies, refiner of the dream. I do it. Black of all trades, I do it. Put art on a page, I do it. I do it. I do it. Make something out of nothing, make nothing to make something that you want to do it. Make something out of nothing, make nothing to make something that you want to do it. Until it's done and there ain't nothing left to do Do it nothing the sun can tell you did it from your youth Doing it in the park got the dark man do Different type of vibe but I'ma work until it's through I'm a mover and shaker Up and down, simple strong So my jaws think about it smooth and sandpaper But this is for the chance takers Villains gave us lemons, now we lemonade makers Don't let any man break ya the most resilient y'all seen, babe He don't play, but highly saw after his teammate Nothing I can't do, you should broaden your dreamscape Food for thought, you should be consuming what we pay Teach, cook, write, love, speak, good, fight Seek, look, eyes shut, we must rise up Often, write rhymes, dark skin, write my lost wins Fly, fly, fortunes, I find I do it Black of all trades, I do it Shackle my brain, can't do it Won't do it, never do it Make something out of nothing, ain't nothing to make something if you want to do it. Make something out of nothing, ain't nothing to make something if you want to do it. Yeah, how you gonna tell me what I can't do when I probably did it first? Ain't nothing I can't handle. Sure as I can do it first, so I'ma make it cooler, add a little flavor. Take us to the future, be a little greater. I ain't scared of all the skill, more valuable than paper. Work a little harder, put it down and make them pay up. Uh, 
I leg it down, they tell me stay up. Every time I turn around, they talk about a break up. Trying to stop the break out, who I would get in this break up. Still surpassing this kids, whatever why he bring it race up. Cause average got us living under poverty lines. And good's only good enough part of the time. And great don't make them hate you from afar In the comment section like Who these f***ers think they are? Black of all trades, I do it, do it. Carry the world's weight, I do it, do it I'll be damned if I can't, I do it, do it. I do it, do it. I do it, do it. Make something out of nothing, ain't nothing to make something if you want for a two, do it, do it. Make something out of nothing, ain't nothing to make something if you want for a two, do it, do it. Do it. My name is Heather Jones, teacher, visual artist, daughter, and cook. Black of all trades, I do it. My name is Precious Joubert. I am a singer, songwriter, producer, musician, artist. I teach voice, I give songwriting workshops, and most importantly, I'm a mother. Black of all trades, I do it. Peace, my name is Substantial. Husband, father, graphic designer, educator, MC. Black of all trades, I do it. Check one, two. Can you hear us all? All right. Let me know in the chat if you can hear us. Check on my phone. All right. And we're going to try to uh, bring back up the um, first question, man, because it was, it was sent in a while ago. But thank y'all so much, man, for hanging in there with us. Uh, it's been awesome. Yeah, man. The, the chat was popping. So, <laughs> that's in, I mean, Serenity's doing some digging right now. Find that first question. Yeah, audio's fine. All right, cool. Thank you. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm on Cletus. Jeez. Yeah, I'm about to get rid of this mic stand. Boom, so boom. So, so here we go. All right. Nope, keep going, cool. keep going, keep going, keep going. It's further up. I think it was like the very first one. Okay. Appreciate y'all for, for tuning oh, in, man. Oh, I think it was gone when we refreshed it. Ah, uh, okay. okay. All right. I Chat on my phone. Okay, cool. And I'll do the same over here. But yeah, man, I hope y'all had a good time, man. Um, you know, we're gonna hang in here for about like uh maybe 30 minutes or so. Try to get to all the questions. Appreciate all the love. Um, let me make sure that is muted. Yeah. But um, yeah, man. Um, thank y'all so the, much. The tundra drip, yes, the tundra drip. Yeah, yeah, you know. It's a casual drip. Like this is the stuff I wear at conventions. You know, like if I can't get like a good like big costume out, I'm just like, all right, earrings, tie up the hair, little flannel. Oh man, shout out to Joshua, man, for oh man, for that um, wow, that fifty dollars oh, super chat. You. Appreciate it. Yeah. Definitely got a um struggling to find that one we we missed earlier you know yeah. like but anyway um if, they, if i can't find it we if the person's still in chat they could just like repost it yeah if they still remember got it yeah for sure if um the person who dropped that um that that first uh super chat with the question do me a favor if you're still here go ahead drop that question again we'll get to it as soon as possible uh let's scroll down or oh, we're all yeah, caught up all right but yeah, man. Um, so look, while we're waiting for folks to come through, <laughs> please stay. <laughs> please stay. Yo, I swear, Johnny, we missed you, man. Yeah, you know I man. Good to see you up in here. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's do this. So while we wait for that, um, go ahead, switch it to that album watch adultish update. So look, man, we're we're gonna share something real quick with you guys. So next week. Um, I'm saying next week, but it, it might get delayed a week. Um, just a quick update uh, on what's been happening um, with Adultish, right? So all the music is recorded and mixed. It's in the mastering stage now. We um, have two inter uh, no, not two interludes. There's a couple interludes that were added to the album um, as well. And so once all of that is done, which should be within the next week and a half or so, We'll be then um, sending everything out to the manufacturers so we can get that going. So, yeah, man, uh, we're almost there, yo. It's uh, it's exciting to say the least. Shout out to Tone. Um, part of the holdup right now is my brother Tone is uh, dealing with a health issue that he's trying to uh, resolve right now that actually uh, impacts his hearing. 
So um, so obviously that that slowed things up a little bit. So definitely send a prayer out for the homie Tone because he's uh, my man Tone Def has done an amazing job mixing this album. Yo, everyone that heard early versions of the record who were excited about it, excitement went through the roof as they heard what he did with the mix. And so shout out to my brother Tone. So without further ado, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you a mock up of what the vinyl is going to look like, which includes um exclusive art from the homie natural for the album and um yeah so that that particular cover will only be available for the vinyl and then it will be a fold out poster inside of the cd today we're only looking at the vinyl mock-up um and i more than likely will use the cover for the digital uh instrumentals as well when they drop but let's go ahead and drop that and then we'll jump into the q a yeah man so this oh right God, here so is what the album cover is going to look like on vinyl you know what i mean and uh we changed up the substantial art and music uh logo a little bit to match the colorway um that we use for everything related to adultish and that cover that you see in the beginning um when it comes back up i'll break that down a little bit more but yeah man um yeah, man, it is really, really happy with how everything's coming out. I like those too dirty. Hey, thank you. So, yeah. So with the cover, man, um, that amount of money that's on there is thirty three dollars, twenty two cents. That's the exact amount of money that I showed up in uh, Japan for the first time when I went to work with New Jabez. Um, I was a broke college student. You know, what I mean, like literally a couple months before that, while I was writing my first album, I literally was couch surfing um you could play it again uh so they could see it again um but i was literally couch surfing uh like through different homies places on campus and stuff trying to um trying to maintain you know what i mean because i was a broke college student <laughs> you know what i mean and so um yeah i showed up and i had very little money and i did not know how i was going to survive even though i knew i had a deal and i knew uh we had agreed on a certain amount or whatever um I just didn't know when he was going to pay me. And I was the type of dude that like, yo, like I survived worse. So I was just ready for anything, son. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was like, yo, I'm going to just show up. The hard part showing up. You know what I mean? And so um, and then the rest is just like doing what I always do. And yeah, man, things things worked out. But when I told Naturel that story, he had never heard that story. And we go back a long time. There's a lot of homies I've known for a long time. But Naturel is, I think he's about to turn 40 or just turned 40. And um, yeah, I've known him for, I've known him since he was 10. You know what I mean? So like 30, 30, uh, Jesus Christ, 30 years. You know what I mean? I've known him. And he had never heard that story before. And um, and he found a lot of inspiration from that story. And that's why he chose to, to use that for the cover of the pro uh, project. Um, because, you know, it's one of those things where, it that type of money like in the life we in right now that's play money son that's not <laughs> that's not real money right like you can't really do much with that amount of money and i was willing to best bet on myself and risk it all uh on this first album um and keep in mind this was at a time when people didn't know who hideout Productions and knew your best was so you know just betting on myself and 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 um betting on this brother who was really talented but i didn't know much about and uh and we're here you know what i mean and so yeah man adultish but anyway let's get into these Q the q a all right let's bring this back onto this and i think we got our first question from once again our good old pal warpath yes warpath asks what are some of your guys favorite family activities to do together oh oh man um we definitely love movies here yeah, right. we watch our good share of movies from obviously Studio Ghibli, which is playing in the background. A little um, harder to see now, but yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can kind of see it. Mm -hmm. uh, anime, speaking of which, we do need to go see the new Demon Slayer. Yeah, we do need movie it. Now. Yeah. Again. Yeah, we, we, like, movies is definitely like a family thing that we love to do, man. Like, um, and other stuff, we haven't played a game in a while. We, we used to get like a game, um, um, a few like board games and but we haven't done that yeah, in a while time i think we played was like life yeah life yeah i played that with destiny recently yeah you know like i think after i saw the cover for adults it made me want to play life with uh, so when yeah. so when she asked me when destiny asked me to play i was like yeah we can do that 
Um, we love going out to eat as a family too. Like we're we're foodies though, so like foodies. there's a lot of like I think like our family's maybe a little bit more adventurous like than some. Like the kids still like their nuggets and fries and stuff, but like but then we'll go to ja- a Japanese thing and like Destiny and Ren love like edamame, Ren love sushi and stuff. Since she was like Jesus, since like. It was like um I think it was like twenty seven. Yeah, twenty seventeen is when I introduced you to it, and yeah, so I you saw, were um, nine. Yeah, prime that prime Japan thing on. Um, yeah. I watched that, and then that was also the same time when you took me on tour. Mm-hmm. And we went to. Um, oh, and we love like, traveling. Yeah, like, traveling, traveling like family so trips are always great. Well. Yeah, but that's some of the things we do. Thanks video for the question. Well. Oh, video games. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, the whole channel and stuff. Right, you know, but yeah, cool. All right, let's Another. See. All right. Next one well, my my also. Thor impression. Another. Another. Just for water ball down. <laughs> All right. Q&A. Boom. There we go. Did my ears deceive me, or did I hear that we got another Bob Alboy album on the way next year? Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're um we're already already got. It's funny. He just sent me another batch of beats. I got to pick through, and then uh hopefully if God go uh, if all goes well. God permit, um, I'll be able to go out to Japan and record it with him versus uh, just, you know, writing and recording here, which is always fun. But, you know, be dope to actually do it in person because about 90 plus percent of everything you've heard from Bob Alloy was recorded with us in different places. You know what I mean? Um, but we come together to tour. So, yeah, we'll, we will see. You know what I mean? Um, but, yeah, the new album, we've had a title for the album in fact, the title of the next album, we've literally had that title since uh, that phrase that it will be the title has been something we've been saying since like maybe the first song we did together. Wow. Yeah. So like, so we this the title, when you hear it, has existed on Bop Alloy Records since 2007 or 2008. Whenever Marcus dropped his first album, I actually say the title of this album uh, on it. So, uh, yeah. Nice. Exciting. All right. Okay, next Another. Johnny. Is it true that DJ <laughs> Yes. DJ Khaled is producing the old ass-ish EP. The whole thing. You know what I mean? It's strictly produced by very old artists who all dye their beards and their hair. You know, and yeah, that's <laughs> no, no, he's not. It's not true. I'm sorry. All right. Next question. All right. Soul Tiger. Any yeah. plans to have returning and possible new guest stars for more live at home specials? Yeah, man. Um, It's funny. I, he may not know it, but I was actually planning to invite uh, the homie AJ Rios um, as the first guest for this year's uh, live from home, um, live at home. Um the yeah man the homie aj rios for those who don't know he's a super dope producer he's been stamped by a lot of um notable people in um hip-hop even though he's an up-and-coming producer uh from southern virginia super talented brother he recently relocated to the dmv area and uh yeah we've been talking since before he moved here about doing some things in the future you'll likely hear at least one beat from him on the old ashes ep as a Johnny called it, uh, in other words, Adultish 2.0, the EP, uh, which will have like maybe five to six tracks that are produced by other folks. Um, so he's going to have a track on there. You know what I mean? But thank you for the question. All right. All right let's go and look for some more. All right. Gonzalo S. Glad to see you doing well, brother. Can't wait to hear Adultish. My question would be, what are your spiritual views and how does that influence your music? Hmm. Hey, man. Tribe is Amar. That's my brother. Yo, shout out. Man, listen. Shout out to Gonzalo. Uh, Gonzalo, Super talented producer, multi-instrumentalist, and composer. Go check out his stuff. It's really dope. We have two dope collabs that we did together. Um, the Right Mood which those of you who love the jazz hop stuff I do, uh, I do that song is right up your alley you'll love it I played it on the channel before and y'all went crazy for it I don't know if y'all have been streaming it though but The Right Mood by Tribe of Zamar featuring Substantial go check that out um, I was talking about it on Substantial Weekly it's a really dope track um, but thank you brother for showing up uh, so spiritual views and how does that influence your music so basically, I'm not a very uh, religious person in the traditional sense. However, I was raised Baptist. 
Um, and then uh, my uncle, who was very influential on me, is a Muslim, um, Nation of Islam. And then my um, I had a, a aunt who was Buddhist, um, who I would have conversations with sometimes. So I would like pick up all of these different things from different faiths. And then like in high school is when I first like started uh, building with five percenters. So that being said, um, I don't subscribe to one religion per se. I believe that there's a power that exists that is greater than us. And I probably most times keep it that simple and don't really try to expand on it. Cause I am all, I am a, I am a, a I am, hmm, I am a loyal person to the church of I don't know, and that's okay. You know what I mean? So I do believe in goodness. Like I said, I be, I like, um, I have time. I like, I, I believe in goodness. I believe in righteousness. I believe in praying. You know what I mean? I don't pray all the time, but if, uh, but occasionally I send one up just to put that energy out there in the universe. Um, but I am very much of the church of I don't know. So I, I don't spend a lot of time like pushing beliefs on other folks because, you know, literally what it means when you the crazy thing is when we talk about faith or we talk about um, uh, like, you know, belief or to believe or to have faith is to not know. Right. It's it's your trust. It's, it's about trust. In other words, you don't know. And so and that's OK. You know, what I mean, and I, I feel like a, I feel like we live in a world where a lot of people are not OK with not knowing. And I think as I've gotten older, I've become more and more OK with I just don't know. And so it's like I'm at a point that I've learned so much over the years that I understand the importance of being uh, the importance of being positive and trying to, um, you know, influence others in in a pos in a positive way but more so through how I live and less through what I talk about and um and I don't do that in hopes of you know meeting the creator and hopefully getting in heaven that's not my aim I do it because you know I think it's important to treat people right you know what I mean now if when my time comes and there is a uh, and you know and there's a certain <laughs> a certain process to get in i hope that the work i've done and the life that i led is enough you know what i mean and, and i just do what i can every day so that's what i live by um this is probably the most in-depth i've spoke on it in in uh, recently like my yeah my daughter just said she's like yeah you know but like i mean your beliefs are just that they're yours right so like i don't necessarily go out pushing it on everyone else and I'm also not a person who really judges others because I, I feel like some of my Christian brothers and sisters, you know, and I can only speak about them in this instance. You know, I sometimes tell them sometimes I was like, yo, we forget sometimes that judging is a sin. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like we, we ask for forget like a lot of people who are, uh, practice certain faiths ask for forgiveness for a lot of things. But they rarely ask for forgiveness for judging other people. And we oftentimes judge people who do not share the same beliefs as us right um and so anyway that has been the church of substantial for the evening thank you so much for that question brother man uh, hope question. all is well all right oh question from nova hey question for, for me what digital pro art uh program do you use to make art i use clip studio paint because i use garama drawing tablet. okay um good question thank you um right now i mainly use like I mainly do like traditional art, so just pen and paper, but like whenever I do digital art, um, I use sometimes Adobe Illustrator, um, Photoshop, which I use mainly on my uh, computer, and, but like other than that, I mainly just use Procreate, like I kind of use like all of them, but it really just depends on the type of art I'm using, but like for most instances, it's Procreate. Might try to do like clip studio paint and all that stuff later but like that's the main one i use for um making art and stuff so thank you mm. all right next one's from johnny again oh my god <laughs> <laughs> johnny i have not performed bananas live since 2001 wait that's a real song that's a real song what i thought he was just memeing around are you what? crazy no bananas are you nuts no bananas it's yeah You've it's never yeah this song. it's not a song i i play a lot or perform a lot this is back when your dad 
a good amount of my stuff was battle rap slash punchline, wow. like slash occasionally saying stuff that was pretty offensive. And yo, like when I listen to it, the bars are dope. Like I listen to them, like I stamp all of these bars. I know that a few of them are really offensive. And yeah, that's what you got from a 20 year old, 21 year old Stan Robinson just out here willy nilly in Japan writing these battle raps that is the reason why like why I got out there to begin with. People knew what I do, or could do. And uh, yeah, but it's not something I perform a lot. Um, I mean, I've literally performed that song live maybe once or tw no, I'm lying. I've performed it live probably about ten times, and that was when I was when I first toured Japan. But outside of there, like I've tried it, like I think once maybe outside of the joint the show went okay. And so yeah, so it's nothing. It's not like I hate the song. Um, I don't. Um, it was a lot of fun. You know what I mean? It was silly. You know, but uh, the bars, the bars were. Yeah. Oh, this is it all. What are you guys top three albums of all time? Um, two off the top of my head that are some. I'm not gonna say like they're the top top. They're just some of my favorites, and these are the first ones I could think of. Yeah. Uh, Red Man, Muddy Waters. Mm. Um, I love that album. Stevie Wonder. Um, oh my God, I know the name of the joint. Oh my God, I just blacked what? out. That song's in the key of life. It's uh, Inner Visions. Inner yes. Visions by Stevie Wonder with Golden Lady, Golden Lady. I like to go there. She messed that up, but it's okay. But yeah, uh, Inner Visions by Stevie Wonder. Um, definitely one of my all time favorites. Another joint that came to mind just off the top of the head uh, Tribe Called Quest, uh, second album, The Low End Theory. Um, it's a ton of joints, man. Ton of joints. De La Soul's Grind Date. Definitely one of their best albums, in my opinion, if not their best. It's not necessarily their most important album historically, but it's my favorite. You know what I mean? Just in terms of watching them dudes age like fire and wine. Those are some of the albums that I could think of off the top of my head. There's a ton of stuff outside of rap that I love as well, too. But those were the ones, if I'm just being honest, where I could listen to those albums forever those joints came to mind right. and go all right for me uh just off the top of my head like my dad um the daft punk discovery album. discovery discover Ooh. oh my god i could listen I yeah could listen that that's one of my favorite albums of all time too mm. discovery's dope second one i'm trying to think um it's a gorillas album i think demon days Demon, I, I just realized how much I listen to them now, and I was just like, I was trying to go back to like some of the old Apple. My albums kid has, my kid has good taste. I, I think, thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like, I think I listened to Dare and Dirty Harry a lot, and I didn't realize I listened to this so much as a kid. So once I listened to it, I'm like, <gasps> it's yeah. Um, and obviously, I feel like number one. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, I'm, I'm not trying to like. Sugar Cut, but like no, one of your albums, actually. Oh. I'm trying to remember which one, but I feel like it's kind of like it's a mix of everything. Like, yeah. All, like, I'm, I'm I appreciate trying not that. to be biased, but past is always present in the future. Not just because it's also not on it. Right. Not just. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I like the. I feel like the garden. I don't listen to it as much as I used to, but like that. I feel like that one was like, hmm. It's good. It's good. You know, try to raise these babies. Yo, fun fact today. When my wife uh, was out with my youngest daughter, Destiny, she um, she heard music coming from another car and then asked my wife to put on music. And then my wife was like, well, what do you want to listen to? And she was like, daddy's music. <laughs> I wasn't even there. I was like, oh, man. You know, it's like it's it's good to know your kids don't think you're a whack -em -see. You know what I'm saying? I sleep better at night. <laughs> you know? Look, like, I feel like the first time you brought me to the convention and I actually like saw a couple of your fans at like um, at a concert. Mm -hmm. Or they came up to this to the table and they just saw me like there, just looking at them like curious, like who is this person? And they just look at me. It's like, do you realize how famous your dad is? And I'm just like, yeah, he's really cool. <laughs> famous sound. No. Anyway, well, famous in like some categories. Yeah. It's like I can bring it. I I bring you up in like some sort of category with like people around my age. They don't know who you are, but I bring right. it up with almost everyone in chat, and everyone's like, yo, yeah, substantial. No Jabez, lo-fi, all that stuff. Ah. All right, keep the questions going right, so we right. get out of here. Right, I think we found the old question. Yes. Right. Claymore, thank you so much, fam. Appreciate the uh, contribution earlier. All right. 
Um, the question was about being the voice of Emperor for Dark <laughs> Knights. What was the story of getting that role? Was surprised to hear your voice once the signals came out. Ooh, oh man, yo, Arknights. that was super cool. Yeah, man. So shout out to the Dark Knights fam up in here. Uh, for any of you who are fans of the game, man, um, that has been a, a a really cool experience. So yeah, how that came to be, um, you know, shout out to Jason Walsh. Um, he's good friends with my boy uh, Mason Lieberman. Um, and, um, both of them composed a ton of music in the video game world. I had already done a couple things with Mason, uh, for the garden and also for a video game, um, out in South Korea called, um, tree, tree, tree of savior. Yeah. Um, savior. yeah. And so, uh, yeah, man, uh, he basically was looking to do a track that kind of had a feel similar to league of legends, like whatever lead song they had at the time. And uh, so they, uh, he basically was asking Mason if he knew some dope rappers who might be willing to jump on the track. Um, he sent over a sample of what he was looking for. I was like, yeah, I can do that. You know what I mean? Um, it's There's a ton of stuff that isn't necessarily what I'm known for doing. And I think sometimes people think that because they don't hear you do a certain style of rap, they don't necessarily think you can do these things. But it's, you know, it's... You know what I mean? Like, just think of it as, like, I'm a handyman, fam, and I got a lot of tools on my belt. And so the tools that I've accumulated over the years allow me to kind of adapt. You know, I've done EDM tracks over the years and all types of, like, very different stuff from what I'm known for. And so anyway, this was one of those challenges. So he sent over the beat. I dug the beat. Um, I dug what the vocalist was doing on the hook. And, yeah, man, um, he told me about the character, the emperor. I looked it up. I, I saw all of this this interesting stuff on the character, like, uh, like the crazy guns and the skull cap with the the Tupac shirt and all of this. I was like, this is a uh, hilarious to say the least. I'm with it, and the rest is history, man. I did one joint. Um, that joint ended up getting nominated for a Hollywood Music and Media Award, and um, and then Arc Knights, the folks at Arc Knights, hit me up to do a couple more things, and um, yeah, I think we ended up doing like two more tracks. So I've done three songs. For, for the uh for them and uh two of which uh representing um you know emperor so that was super dope you know it was just a, a lot of fun man and um yeah hoping to to do some stuff with them again fun fact too is footage of uh, some performers out in china during the uh pandemic at an event um for arc nights performing this song in front of a stadium of people so i'm watching like all of these people who seem like they are very familiar with the song rocking out to like someone who's not me. They were basically performing like, you know, rapping my parts and stuff. Um, and they had a different singer doing the thing. But um, but it was still just dope to see just the I had no idea that that song was going to be as big as it was. But, you know, it was great, you know. Mm -hmm. But anyway, let's keep it moving. Once again, from Morpa. I'll retype it. What are some of the most unexpected things you've taken inspiration from? Ooh. Unexpected things. <laughs> um, man. That's a great question. Mm. Um, yo, one unexpected thing I'm looking at right now, like the one wheel, right? Like, and the reason why I say that is, you know, like I hadn't really gotten back out there, like just riding or just kind of exploring on like anything or like, you know, whether it was a bike or whatever, I just been like really slacking. You know what I mean? I'm a person that don't mind walking anywhere. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, you know, um, but yeah, man, just riding the one wheel has been hella inspirational, man. Like it's inspired me to kind of do more creative things with video. Um, it's also like, you know, just, uh, it's it's just a ton of fun, man, and it's like really really free. I'm I'm blown that I haven't ridden in a while. I'm waiting for the weather a weather to break so I can ride a bit more. If where my mom lives wasn't so bumpy, I'd probably take it there. But I'm pretty sure I'd be face planting like every few minutes, every few feet. But um, but yeah, man, I would say like that's one source. Like that's not probably something that I think the average person would be like, yeah, that's hella inspiring. But like, man, like. You know, I've definitely taken some bad spills, and I got this, this scar on my arm right here <laughs> from riding one wheel. You know what I mean? It it's was pretty. It was pretty. Healed, but still looks. Yeah, oh yeah, it's God. pretty gnarly, but um, gnarly, gnarly. but yeah, but no, definitely that that's one thing um that I didn't expect to to enjoy so much, mm -hmm. 
and uh it's been really really dope but um yeah i miss riding hopefully i'll get out there soon when once this album's done and i get a little bit more time but anyway let's keep it going yeah i was trying to think of something but i was like eh, i can't really think of anything my mind went blank mm-hmm. uh he also has another one uh and do you have a consistent favorite part of your music creation process or does it vary um b- 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 hmm. part of i would say one of the pro one of the parts of the process um you know, like I enjoy the writing part so much because I've been doing it so long. It's very difficult to not say something I haven't said before in some way, shape or form. And it's almost like you're kind of trying to perfect writing a song like that you've written over and over again and find new ways. That, so like whenever I have like little moments where I say certain things and it's like I know it, like I will read over it like, oh, that's crazy. You know, and what's dope is it's not all it's not like it's like punchline stuff per se. Right. Where it's it's just like it's something profound, potentially. So, like, for example, you know, I was just talking to Millen about um, I was talking to Millen about the song Salt and Pepper. And uh, he was just telling me how much he enjoyed it. And I think on the surface, most people will hear that song and just it's light and fun. But really what that song is about, it's like, yo, like looking at this point where I am in my life and, and, you know, being proud of where I am enjoying this moment. And then like, really like, you know, this, this salt and pepper, the same thing that sometimes younger people will kind of poke fun at. Um, and even sometimes your peers, when they have less grading, you will poke fun at or whatever and kind of, Oh man, you getting old and blah, blah, blah. Like it's a bad thing. But, um, but you know, like just full disclosure, man, like, as somebody who's nearly like I've had a couple of like near death experiences before I even reached 20, like in my my, you know, in like my early teens and stuff, even in elementary school. So as somebody who went through these things and had a couple homies and stuff that checked out early, like friends who didn't even make it out of high school, other friends who got locked up, you know, what I mean, like early and all of this stuff like, you know, a lot of folks from where I'm from, man, like don't necessarily see us we don't see ourselves growing up to be old men and um my boy said to his son when he heard his son complain he was like damn dad i'm getting old and his father was like you should be so lucky and so so really like salt and pepper is a flex it's just like bro like you know like it it's really like man like the opening line i say living legend ain't gotta die gray and flexing ain't gotta die truth is free i ain't gotta lie come get this wisdom my god a lot you know what i mean and it's really like yo i'm embracing all of this shit and i'm really i'm really grateful to be uh, be in this position and be here to uh to share what my experiences are with hopefully people who can benefit from that and inspire folks so so writing things like that um like that part of the process and stuff and knowing as i'm writing it like what this song is going to mean and potentially could could be to others even though i'm writing it for me i'm still very much conscious of how it could potentially affect other people and um i look forward to those moments you know what i mean like i love sharing it awesome. right. um, thank you kid let's see uh jesse king says any plans on performing in canada by chance it'd be dope to see you perform in toronto Aww. word we'd love traveling there. yeah we'd love to come back to canada i haven't performed in toronto in a while um i think the last time i performed in toronto was like damn like 2015 or 2016 something like that it was a, it was yeah nah it was ooh, it might be earlier than that it was 2014 actually now that i think about it um so yeah like yeah. right now we're working on a u.s tour i'm definitely gonna um you know uh before if it's not this year it's probably probably be next i I, like i'm gonna explore potentially getting back out there it's definitely been a while so um yeah i'll keep you posted um but yeah let's see what we got says what is the pay cut you get when you do shows at venues how do you ensure getting paid fairly eg is a percentage of tickets that's a great question so there's different things you can do right like so you got some shows that you do where you get a guarantee uh, which is a flat rate um you got other shows where there'll be like door splits and then there are shows where you can do something where it's uh, called a versus deal where like you'll get a guarantee of a certain amount however um they also offer a percentage of uh, of ticket sales right and if 
the percentage of uh, ticket sales when you hit a certain number of tickets that will be more than what your guarantee is and the more tickets you sell that percentage will increase so there are different types of deals again you can do get uh, guarantees you can do splits some splits are like 50 50 door others might be 65 um, 35 in your favor sometimes a 75 or 70 and it can go up depending on how many tickets you sell and then you have something called um uh, like what is that? I just said it a, a second ago um, versus deals. And so there are lots of different ways you can do it. But part of the reason why I started doing these live from homes um, was it was more cost effective, right? Than like sometimes trying to get booked and going out to do a thing, even with you guys just donating. Granted, there's been times where I've done this and people have donated $12. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, like, there's little things that y'all don't see that's in the background and stuff that we invested in and different equipment that we buy that we use for more than just this. But those nights where no one donates, it's a loss. You know what I mean? Um, but it's not as big a loss as maybe going to Europe and being in Europe for three to four weeks. Some of your shows are guarantees. Some of your shows are splits. Sometimes people, um, uh, you know, say that you're going to get paid one particular way or one particular time. Other times you don't get paid until nearly a month after you perform. And so, yeah, man, it, you can lose a lot of money when you got to pay for travel, hotels, um, three meals a day. Some of those meals are covered. Some aren't. Some of the travels covered. Sometimes it isn't. Sometimes people things get stolen. Uh, Marcus D's had a laptop stolen on one of our tours. Another artist we toured with had their laptop, headphones. They lost like about $3,000 worth of stuff while we were touring in Paris. So like, yeah, man, there's a lot of things to consider. And there's a reason why you don't see me tour as much as I could. I could definitely tour way more. But as somebody who's done um, a decent amount in the past, like it's not always cost effective, you know. And so, uh, yeah, but I wish you the best of luck. All right. All right let's try to get a few more. Says questions for both of you. Considering your daughter is in view, how do you feel about Chat GPT? How do you feel about AI and where it will take us? Thoughts. Hmm. You want to go first? I don't know what the first one is. Yeah, please uh, elaborate on what Chat uh, GPT is. This is my first time seeing that. As far as um, the stuff with AI, I feel like some of the people who are developing it haven't seen enough movies <laughs> about <laughs> how this could potentially go. And. Um, yeah, I don't think it's all bad, but I feel like as we see advances with it, there are some people who are trying to do things that aren't really hurting. It's not going to hurt anyone, right? Uh, or at least we hope. And then there are other things like, you know, I get it. Like with the people who are doing AI art, yeah. there's a lot of people who can't afford to pay an artist with the artist deserves to be paid for what they do so if they can find some some program out here that will do that listen as somebody who's done anim who's paid for animation before animation is extremely expensive and i would love to do a ton of animated uh content but i can't i don't have the budget for it so i mean i found myself looking at this ai animation stuff that exists and i was like ah but then i was like nah because because i'm an artist myself i'd rather pay someone to do it or just do it myself. But if I'm going to do it myself, I'm going to legit do it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Out of respect for their craft. But I don't judge people for going that route. Because anytime someone wants to do a thing but does not have the capital to do it, they're going to find another way to do it. It's just my concern is that the people who are developing the stuff a lot of times, like, yeah, man, it's just I wish it didn't have to. I, I wish it didn't have to be at the expense of other creatives it's hard enough for artists already and so and now with the stuff we're seeing now where like um it, the uh, ai can recreate people's voices that's scary so like it's hard enough to find people who want to pay me my rate for what i charge for a collaboration um and my rate is my rate like because you know it takes time it takes away from time with my family it takes away from other things i have to do there are other things that i work on for myself that are far more lucrative so when i stop to do this particular thing for someone you know i get that one pay and maybe some royalties down the road but there's stuff i do for myself that, it, that typically pays out far more so this is what people are paying for along with my expertise 
But now with this AI stuff, someone could be like, hey, I want to do a song with Substantial and this is a cheaper way to do it. And they're using my voice or whatever to to do just that. And I've had people like take my acapellas and flip songs out. And it's like, that wasn't a great experience, right? Like, so um, just imagine what this could potentially mean. And that's just talking about the art side of it, not even talking about what um, what it could potentially mean in terms of like people's safety, right? Like, you know, like I uh, saw a conversation today about um, like cars or whatever, like with AI and a woman was trying to say like, yeah, like this brand of car already has AI in it. It's like, no, nah, just because it's driving itself or whatever, it's like, it's AI when the car can just basically decide, you know what, I want to go for a drive. And it doesn't need you to initiate anything. It can just do it on its own. And then get mad when someone cuts it off and then experiences road rage, right? And like, that's that's what we're talking about. And so the, the idea of that, I am, I try, I'm a a mostly optimistic person, but at the same time, like I also, I know how, unfortunately, we've seen enough bad apples in the world where there's always going to be some people who who come up with a way to use this to harm, like for the purpose of harm, or maybe not consider how harmful it could potentially be what they're doing to, to all parties. So anyway, I appreciate the question. Yeah. You kind of answered it for me. Okay. Right, let's see. A song. All right. Let's see. As someone who wants to become a music producer is barely starting off, what would you recommend I focus on? Oh, nice. Um, always be a student of the craft. I would say definitely. Um, you know, spend a good minute, amount of time like studying various producers. The ones you love, of course, right? And then maybe some people like outside of the genre that you plan to work in, um, like who are doing interesting things, uh, learn like the history of it and stuff, you know, just, yeah, yeah man, um, you know, where, whatever lessons you can kind of pick up from, from studying these other artists. And then like, you know, pay attention to like technology, try to learn some of the old technology along with where it's going now um and find and you know and explore until you find what like really speaks to you and you feel like you get the best um the best results with you know what i mean but uh but y'all wish you all the best yeah good luck Ooh, i like this question would bop alloy do a summer version of winter breaks i need to know i've always wanted (laughs) I've always wanted summer breaks. Some summer breaks. Summer breaks. That is not a bad idea. How, how have you not thought of this? Because you know, winter breaks was more. It was more challenging the idea of doing something that hadn't really been done before. Um, sure. Where like, there's been a ton of. There has been like hip hop, like Christmas songs or albums, but like, um, but we tried to do it in a way where it was like it wasn't necessarily corny um so let's go to happy mochi since they got the super chat but yeah we definitely oh, whoa, 50 bucks oh wow thank you Jeez. so much sorry didn't see that sooner so sad I missed mr the show, show the time zones hope you're doing well and feeling fantastic this friday happy mochi thank you so much Quay. i wish you all the best all right yeah. oh warpath had a question for me so hey, what are some of your biggest inspirations artistically Ooh. oh man um, and while you're answering that i'm gonna do that Go ahead, do your thing all right, I'm trying to think. Um, yeah, because there's like a bunch of artists who I follow online. I'm trying to think of them at the top of my head, but like my brain just short circuited. But like, mainly, uh, I'm on Webtoon a lot, which like allows me to like read uh, like comics from like people all over the world. So like, I'm trying to think of like some of the artists on there, but I can't really think of Luna Bunny definitely, who made my profile picture online. Um, Katie Fox, um, both of them have always been like a big inspiration for me, but, um, also my parents, they're artists, not, I don't really do like the type of stuff they do in art, but like still inspiration for stuff, but I'd also say, um, like most of the shows I watch, cause like most of the time I will be drawing like my own characters, but like most of the time I just go like looking for references online of like my favorite characters from like shows, movies, all that stuff, but like put a little twist on it, like you know, just trying to figure out my style, because, like, at the beginning, I was watching tutorials and, like, basically copying exactly the style, you know, trying to figure out, like, okay, how do I want the proportions to look? 
do I want them to look exactly perfect or do I want them to look a little bit off? So, but now, like, I'm starting to finally find a consistent style of my art. It might change, like, depending on the character, if I'm trying to simplify the eyes, the hands, everything. But I kind of say it's just everything, really. <laughs> like, all the stuff I do in my day and age, like, I'll just do random sketches of, like, nature. Yeah. <laughs> She's dope. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. All Got right. a Trey Kirby. All right. Question, have and would you ever perform Our Love Songs Gay? What? So I have a song called Our Love Songs Gay. Was this during like the controversial part of it? No, this, uh, it's, I wouldn't say it's a, con that song, so, so for those who don't know, I have a song called Our Love Songs Gay, but instead of uh, the word R, it's the letter R. And so the, the way the song came to be, um, basically toned from Q and 5 music, told me that the label we were doing a valentine's day project oh. and what he said to me when um when he sent me the beat he's like yo whatever you do don't make a love song because that's your gay <laughs> that, was a, that was a direct quote you know what i mean and i was just like i just sat there and part because this is at a point in time where everyone used to use gay like as slang for bad mm. so anything that was gay is bad like you hear a song that you didn't like, man, it's gay. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, you hear something else you didn't like, that's gay. Like, and so, so basically, he he told when he was like, man, don't do, you know. And he was joking, of course, right? But he really just was like, yo, we're trying to do songs that that deal with the top, like things that deal with Valentine's Day, but not in the traditional sense. So what he was really saying was just you know uh in a not so nice way what he was really saying was like don't do the traditional love song oh, so okay. right um so what i decided to do i like we when he said it though i just laughed so hard uh, so hard because i was like so let me get this straight me as a heterosexual man doing a song about my wife who is also heterosexual is gay <laughs> Just, just like, just commenting on the ridiculousness of what he just said to me, right? And it just turned into a whole funny conversation. And he was like, "Dog, this is the song. This is the song." He's like, "Yo, you should do a song about what we're talking about right now." And I was like, "I accept the challenge." And so I did a whole song that really was just kind of talking about, like, uh, you know, like this this environment that we're in, where like. You know, when you are a rapper that's not doing the traditional rap songs, you looked at as corny or gay or, you know what I mean, or industry plan or blah, 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 whatever new phrase they have to describe rappers who aren't rapping about killing people or being in the streets all day. And the funny thing is when, like, people talk to me about that type of stuff, when I learned more about them, I was like, bro, you're, the hood you're from ain't even as hard as the one I'm from. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't even... You know, and it's like I see certain corny people talking online about like what what rappers are this and this, that and the third. And then I see some of these people and then you don't take much to find out where they really from. I'm like, fam, this life that you love hearing about and that you find so entertaining, like you ain't even from that. You know what I'm saying? And so when people who, who ain't from that critique, critique me for not glorifying that. When they don't even know what it's like to like, they don't even realize how hard you got to be to be where I'm from, to be around the things I've been around and not let that stuff break me and and still talk about the stuff I do and still be the type of person I am. Still show up in the middle of the hood, 10 o'clock at night with thousands of dollars of equipment, setting up free studio for kids like. Like, you know, what I mean, like. Yo, people so corny and ridiculous nowadays, man. But like, but it's just like people have this idea of what masculinity uh, masculinity looks like or sounds like. And so if you don't subscribe to that, you corny, you gay, you this, that, and the third. And like, man, it's the stupidest shit I've ever heard in my life. And um, yeah, anyway, thank you, though. But yeah, I, to answer your question, I've performed that song a ton of times. I haven't performed it in... It's been a long time since I performed it, but like literally there was like a good five year period where almost every show I was doing, um, maybe not five years, like three, three to four eh, so ish. Uh, but I, I've done it a lot. I've definitely done it a lot live because yeah, 
song. Yeah, people and people. I'd be like, "Yo, so this for my next song," and I'd say it, and people were like, Arr? <laughs> it would catch people off guard all the time. But it would kill. It used to kill live. I definitely haven't done it in a long time. But let's keep it moving because we gotta get out of here. Yeah. Uh, scroll down real quick just so we can see how many we got total. Uh, Oh, we got a lot. Okay. Yeah. Jeez, we got All right. So let's go to the super chat one, and oh. then, then, uh, Houston. hey, Houston's, what's going on, my man Zach? All right. Uh, hey, Stan. All of the collaborations you've done over the years. Are there any that stay in your mind as your favorite? I personally love Heart with Kanichiro Nishihara. Yeah, man. Um, Heart with Kanichiro is definitely a great one. Um. There's a collab that it's it's hard for me to go back and listen to sometimes, but I'm really proud at how of how the song came out, and um, it was definitely a tough song to do. But there's a song I did with Nitsua called "Withdrawn," um, which is about uh, my niece who died uh, years ago when I was still in high school. It's about her and um, you know her. Uh, just how that affected me, you know what I mean? Like, and and, and dealing, dealing with that and me trying to come to grips with that and understand it. But that's definitely one of my favorite, it's probably one of my uh, one of my darker tracks. Um, another fun one that I did that uh, I haven't listened to in a long time, but it just came to mind. Um, I don't know if it's one of my favorites, but it was definitely a lot of fun to do, and I love Last Emperor. For those of you who've never listened to The Last Emperor, check out a song called Secret Wars, where he puts his favorite rappers up against his favorite comic book characters. Classic joint. Um, really, really dope. And then he has another one where he flipped uh, Ostrich, uh, Ostrich Gilberto's um, Quiet Nights from Quiet Stars, like where he's saying, um, flipping that line uh, in his joint. Yeah, but anyway, me and the homie Session from Q and 5 Music, we did a song with uh, Last Emperor called Shut Up. And la, 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 la. I know you know it, uh, Zach, but uh, now shut up, now shut up, now shut up, shut, 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 shut. Man, crazy. Tone killed that beat. But that's probably one of my favorite joints, too. Um, you know, like different joints, you know what I mean? So I've done a ton of collabs, so it's kind of hard to say. I'm pretty sure I have somewhere between four to 500 songs on Apple Music at this point so yeah it's it's hard to pick one but thank you for that question brother all right let's get another all right uh this is one i just know this is a question how do you deal with being stuck in a creative process so like an art blog page yeah hey so <laughs> peace this was going on so um hi ty uh oh i mean hey ty is uh, a visual artist remember those whale stickers i used to give you oh my yeah, I yeah. Whenever I go out to the West Coast, she she would always hook me up with those, and I, I come I back. The art style from yeah, the I'm like, where have I seen? Good this? to see you, sis. I hope you and your husband are doing well. Um, yeah. So for me, like, I just kind of force it. I think that a ton of artists just kind of wait for the moment to strike them. I'm a person that um, I create. Like, there's something I create every day. And there are days where it's easier and the other days where it's hard. But what I try to do is uh, I treat it. I, I wish I treated. I wish I treated exercising the way I treat creating, mm. because, for example, with exercising, how you get in shape is by forcing yourself to work out even when you don't want to work out. Yeah. Right. So that's how I create. That's how I treat art. That's how I treat visual art. That's how I treat music. I force myself to make something even when I don't feel like making something or even when I'm exhausted, like I, I just push, I just push through it and make it happen because it's a muscle. Right. And so learning how to, to create when it's not the easiest moment to create, I feel like makes me sharper in those times. And so it, it makes me more effective um, in certain, you know, when I'm in a pinch sometimes, you know what I mean? And so, um, so yeah, but that that's how like I just know like one particular thing. I just like the way my schedule is broken up. I have certain days of the week that are allotted for certain things. So Mondays and Tuesdays are usually my writing and recording days. And then um then um Wednesdays and Thursdays are my art, my visual art and administration days where like all of the typing and all the stuff that gotta happen behind the scenes, the real dry stuff. 
maybe apply for a grant, maybe, you know, type up a contract, maybe blah, 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 on top of like designing a flyer, designing cover art, designing something for someone else. Like, and I just push, like I put, I push through it. And sometimes it's great and sometimes it's not, but it's always a lesson learned. You know what I mean? So thanks for the question. I was actually going to answer it too because yes. it's kind of an art block. We got we can we can take one more after this and we got to get out of here because we're way over time. Yeah. All right. All right but I'll try and answer it as quickly. Um, but like from what I remember, I think I was actually dealing with like a really like bad art block, um, like close to the end of like elementary school for me because like I don't remember exactly how it happened, but like it was just like I think it was close to the pandemic starting and I just kind of like stopped drawing. Like I used to make comics like in elementary school that people that people would always notice me doing it. It's like, hey, can I read them? All that stuff. But I feel like it kind of just stopped because, like, my, like, the art style was just, I didn't really like it at the time because I had, like, plenty of tutorial, like, books and stuff. But, like, last year, um, during, like, I was taking art classes still over and over again, but, like, it just, I never really liked my style. But, like, finally I decided to, like, look, go on Pinterest to look for inspiration and stuff. And I think that kind of like dragged me out of it, watching tutorials and finally getting like, um, like determination to actually start it and then kind of push through that. I might, might have like little dips where it's just like, eh, I don't want to, but like, you know, I'm still kind of wanting to practice. Like I can't, I still can't like draw our hands like realistically, but like still it's, it doesn't look that messy anymore, which I'm glad. So, you know. I like that like he's like dad said just keep on pushing through it and then, yeah yes indeed mm -hmm. all right so uh last question i'm not sure if we missed other ones i apologize if we did um for in the comments. yep you can leave them in the comments any questions you leave in the comments i'll definitely um get to um i am not familiar with this artist uh daichi uh, diaz but i will look them up and uh i'll let you know all right um go ahead click on that last one from zach that last imp and session collab was stellar silence was golden but after him is platinum yes hey you're the real mvp click on uh joshua's real quick thank you zach a hey, great show great q a always a pleasure fam always got to thank uh the producer ren yeah ren held it down clap it up for serenity thank you, thank you. yeah um Yo, and to anybody, if I missed your question, I, I um, please accept my apologies. But just to give everyone heads up, if you are not following me on Bandcamp, make sure you do that. Substantial.bandcamp.com. Next uh, Friday is Bandcamp Friday. I'm going to be announcing certain things with Adultish. Hopefully, the master will be complete. And if it is completed by next week, we will have pre-orders up. If it is not completed by next week, then it will be delayed by one more week. But follow me on that platform so you can be notified the moment it drops. I'm also going to start making some of the adultish merchandise available um, for order as well to those of you who were unable to support the Kickstarter campaign. All right. But on that note, got to get out of here. Thank you all so much, man. Appreciate the love. Um, anytime you got questions for me every Friday at noon. Uh, Eastern Standard Time or Eastern, uh, what's it, what's it, just Eastern Time yeah. at this point. You know, it's always changing. But Eastern Time on Fridays at noon, I go live and I do Q&A every week and give updates. So for those of you who are watching here who are not regulars, now you know, for those of all of my regulars, my my supporters, I appreciate y'all, man. High Yay. five for Jesus. Let the church say amen. 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 Hey, you, you now have a stand church. Everyone in the comments yeah. was just like, okay. Stan Church. Uh, the, the Church of Stan. The Church of Stan. <laughs> oh, Stan man. man. Right. I appreciate y'all. Everybody, Stan. have a great night, man. Y'all take care. Love y'all, man. I hope you had a lot of fun tonight. The chat, man, y'all are awesome. Y'all always Thank awesome. So much love, man. Y'all have a great night. I'll see you soon, but talk to you soon. Peace. Peace.